Um, which brings me, I guess, to your podcast because your Influence Unlocked podcast rated in the top 10 Apple business podcasts this year. That's an incredible achievement. I mean, how's that journey been for you doing a podcast? Because it's a very intimate you know, medium, isn't it? What's, it? what's it meant to you, I guess, to know that you've started that journey and it's been so well received? Like I'm the sort of person who is always looking for the next challenge. And I like doing things that put me outside of my comfort zones. And the story that I told before about building or starting to build a personal brand for myself to help my business get better known, the podcast was sort of a next step, an evolution in that process. So about 15 months ago, I was thinking about podcasts. A lot of our clients were doing other people's podcasts. And I thought to myself, why do we keep letting you know why do I keep saying to people yep our clients will do your podcast why don't we start our own clearly mm. there's a demand for the people that we work with on a daily basis why don't we start a podcast where we can also share their stories and maybe tell them a little bit differently and go behind some of those key media messages or what you see in the press and actually get to know these amazing entrepreneurs and the challenges that they've gone through and the things that they've given up and the things that they've done to actually get to where we see them now with, with the work that we do, which is telling the success. And look, the second bit of that also was that I was terrified of that. I never wanted to do podcasts. If somebody asked me, I would always find a reason not to do it. And I, and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna put some time and energy into this. I'm going to make all the mistakes maybe look a little bit foolish, stuff them up, uh, but you know what, give it a go. And so the podcast was born uh, 12 months ago and we called it Influence Unlocked because it was very much about speaking to people of influence within a variety of industries mm -hmm. and uncovering the person behind what we see in the press. Yeah, and I mean, you have, you've spoken to an incredible sort of wealth of, of business leaders from so many fields, you know, Sam Wood, obviously health and fitness and Karen G, you know, fashion designer. We've got Jamie Fuller in there, the former exec chairman of Skins, you know, and, and I guess they're representing, you know, Australia in all sorts of forms of business. But what are the common threads with all those sort of conversations that you've had and all the clients that you represent? When you think about people that have created successful brands, what are some of those common threads that you've observed along the way? Yeah, there's definitely some common threads amongst all the guests that we have on, regardless of whether they come from sport or business or politics or celebrities. One of the questions that I always like to ask in the podcast is, is for the guests to go back in time and, and think about some of the defining moments in their journey mm. that have led to where they are today. And often that will come through with moments of real uh, hardship or, or challenges, maybe not so much hardship in all cases, but challenges. And there's also this fiery determination yeah. to actually do really well in whatever the industry is that, that they've chosen. But there's, so, you know, I really like to ask those questions because there's some amazing challenges that have been overcome and some amazing stories of resilience, which I like telling because our listeners love hearing that it's okay to fail, that there are people out there who appear to be quite successful in what they do, who just often have stories similar to them. And, and that's very much what the podcast is about. It's about inspiring and providing stories that are realistic and, and seem attainable and you know really enjoyable to listen to. Yeah, it is, isn't it? It's the power of the hustle. And I think you, you can't deny that. And it's the same here at Tiki. You know, we speak to so many people from different mediums, but that common thread is that that ability to get back from the setbacks and the never stop hustling attitude. Yeah, we have some great conversations in and around recharging and mental health as well with some of our guests, because the reality is, is that there's a lot of pressure on all of us in, in what we do these days. And it's hard sometimes to stop and reflect and, and enjoy the successful moments, but also just go, hey, you know, maybe I'm not okay. And we've had some great guests on, on the show who who put their hand up and said, you know what, I see a, a council on a regular basis and I don't treat that any differently to what I would if I was going and seeing a personal trainer for my fitness and health every mm. week. And, and I think stories like that are just fabulous.